The Oculus Update V15 for the Oculus Quest is finally available, bringing a completely new design, dashboard, a new Oculus browser and many more features. Hey guys, stay here, so let's walk through it together in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are in the Oculus Home. As you can see, the dashboard here is a little different when this part is pretty much the same of the one that we used from before. But let's go step by step because the first thing we have to do is to be sure that we are on version 15. But to have this new interface, this new dashboard is actually not enough because we also have to go on experiments and activate the new universal menu. Uh, this is the new universal menu, it's much closer, much smaller, uh, very compact and it's going to be the future of the interface. But for now you can still stay on the old one. Uh, just bear in mind that when you click on it you're going to have to restart your Oculus Quest and the same thing for the multitasking uh, for the Oculus Quest browser. Get ready to restart it for a while. You're gonna be prompted anyway when you get in with a very fast tutorial that is gonna tell you all the different characteristics of this new update. And then you're gonna be granted with this. Uh, you have the old application, uh, very similar to the one that we see on Android, by the way. And there you're gonna be able to have a quiz card with home, store, browser, chats, parties, and TV. So pretty much what we had before in the lower section and the games that you started recently. Now, you can also go on all apps, by the way, and you're gonna be prompted in the same way with this on top, and then all the games that you have installed on the headset. Of course, you have the recent, most recent, you can go from A to Z, uh, you can have all the Oculus Quest app, they installed and stuff like that and you can also select the Go or Gear VR games because some uh, you may know that are available so here you have it over here. Uh, let's go back in Quest, by the way, every time that you click on something, like if we click on Home, we go back to uh, kind of the old interface and the little dashboard gets like even smaller. Uh, when we go on browser, instead we're gonna have the new browser over here, of course, if you select it in the options. Uh, now we have this plus on top that is gonna move the uh, tab on our left and then you're gonna be the center one and then you can tap again and well, it's gonna create another one over there. So pretty nice because we have, can have three browser open at the same time and each browser can have different tabs because as you can see, the tabs are not uh, the same. Clicking on that, you're gonna be able to open one or the other. Now, here we are on that, so uh, as you can see, we can open like YouTube on one, uh, we can open Google on the other, and we can open, it's still loading, uh, the connection is not that fast for some reason now, uh, Bing. So, uh, well, you can go there, uh, we have our usual uh, keyboard, the old one, so hi, I don't know what's gonna find, probably some song, hi, okay, uh, that thing. Uh, here we have uh, a lot of politics about coronavirus, by the way. Uh, stay safe, guys, and wash your hands. And over here, hold on, uh, we have the other page, for example, with Bing. Of course, uh, end tracking works in the same way as before. Uh, very, very nice, nothing kind of changed. Now, we can change, of course, the position of our tabs like this and we can also close everything if we are not interested anymore. Uh, let's go then in the next step, uh, let's use the end because one other thing that I want to show you is that if you double tap on your headset now you can go on the pass-through view with the Oculus Quest. Probably now you're not seeing it, I'm gonna put something there. Uh, but yeah, double tap on the side, it works pretty well. Uh, there was the same option on V14, but wasn't working for me and now actually works. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty nice. And also we have the chats over here now that they improved a little. So you're able to actually chat directly from here without using the phone. Uh, chat are a very important thing. Now, uh, one thing that they didn't actually solve and I think that is a very important thing and I hope they're gonna do it in the future is a multi 
profile settings because we still have just one single profile so I don't even know why we have our profile picture over there yes you can see all the details about your profile but that's it friends recently play the app or edit the avatar but if you are more people uh, in the same Oculus Quest well nothing changes there now uh, let's keep going notification very similar from before but now they are uh, divided in social system and downloads then uh, the share button very nice we have a recording that's what we are doing right now camera roll so you can see what you recorded and by the way this was um, F Live on the Quest with virtual desktop that works pretty pretty well you can take picture you can cast and you can go live the same as before it's just a little nicer but over here you can already see something that is not the best at least for me is the fact that this part is actually in front of the panel on the back and so you know uh, they could bring it down a little some time happens and uh, it's not just in the right position I guess it would if it was be closer it would be much better and it's close enough but you can't actually touch it kind of a bummer because it will be very nice and minority report style uh, to do something like that uh, but let's keep going not touch we said okay here we are uh, this is a part that I really like because it really seems like your phone at this point uh, you can change the volume over here you can change the brightness over here very nice but there's no number so I hope they're gonna add some numbers there uh, mute the microphone uh, we have the night display we have the no do not disturb we can move the view of course uh, like always and we have also the voice commands it's not the first time we see voice commands here uh, now well you can toggle it with the double click on your oculus home button uh, now same thing when you click there there is going to be prompted with a tutorial so don't worry about that we have the wi-fi options and the guardian options uh, then when we go on device it's pretty much the same as before everything is here like before you can change the tracking thing uh, to detect the movement and stuff like that and enable the oculus link if you have it connected to the pc uh, then when we go to guardian well same thing as before i really like all these sensibility things uh, that's very nice uh, then we have storage with all the application that we can delete or not and application that is pretty much the same thing uh, you can manage them from here then virtual environment as you can see these are always the same uh, there's nothing new as you can see I'm in this new virtual environment uh, that is a custom one I made a video about it you can find it on top over here uh, but we can go of course to the classic environments when uh, we want or to the winter lodge that I really really like but let's go back in Zelda and uh, let's go on experiment as you can see we saw already this one uh, because it has all these options from the Bluetooth the pass-through again double tap and you're gonna have the pass-through uh, it's very fast and the multitasking for the Oculus browser developer we have just the Guardian uh, thing and about just with the update so well that's pretty much it this is the new update uh, I really like the new design I just hope they're gonna be able to bring it down a little and maybe even closer so I can actually use it with my hands and will be very very fun uh, you know when you are using and tracking it uh, really comes natural to, to do stuff with your hands uh, with the controller maybe a little less but uh, we have the option on the oculus reef to do so and it's kind of weird that we can't do it over here maybe in the future and here you have it guys as you can see it's far from perfect because we can't really do everything yet the multi-profile is not there yet and they never even talked about it i think that is one of the most requested things and the fact that you can't really touch it and it's occlude the view of the old interface it's kind of weird but let me know what you think about it would you actually like to touch the interface minority report style but overall i think that it's a great direction that they're taking uh, the fact that it's not there by default means that they're still working on it so let's expect a v16 still different from this v15 for now i for sure uh, 
recommend to enable it because it's much better than the one that we had before. Just the quick settings thing that you can change uh, volume or brightness that works also of course during a game. Uh, it's amazing and the new interface for sharing is much easier than before. But yeah, we saw it together, so there were the features. And by the way, another thing that I didn't mention is the fact that recording still, it doesn't record the microphone, so I had to use an external microphone with my phone to record my voice because it, it was like always. And uh, while at the beginning it was actually in sync with the video, after around three, four minutes, it started to go out of sync. So if you record a lot of gameplay, be aware that you're gonna have to do some post-production on the video that you record while recording directly with the Oculus Quest. Or you can use SideQuest, that is easier, but you're gonna have the cable there with Scrappy, or it's called like that, something like that. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, that was all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this walkthrough video, we're gonna see each other with the walkthrough of version 16, for sure, when it's gonna be out. For now, we don't have any information, but well, we can still enjoy uh, this one for now. But yeah. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech, and I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Ciao.